Hello and welcome viewers, you're watching In Depth with your host Kriti Mishra. Government of India recently announced Mission Mossum, aimed at advancing atmospheric sciences and weather forecasting capabilities. The Ministry of Earth Sciences will oversee this 2000 crop project which seeks to enhance research, technology and capacity in areas such as weather observation, modelling and prediction. The Union Cabinet, chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has approved Mission Mossam with an outlay of 2,000 crore over the next two years. Mission Mossam, to be chiefly implemented by the Ministry of Earth Sciences, is envisaged to be a multifaceted and transformative initiative to tremendously boost India's weather and climate-related science, research and services. As part of Mission Mossam, India will exponentially expound research and development and capacity in atmospheric sciences, especially weather surveillance, modeling, forecasting and management. By integrating advanced observation systems, high performance computing and cutting edge technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning, Mission Mossum will set a new benchmark for predicting weather with high precision. वेदर फोरकास्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज में कई अच्छे चेंजेस आए हैं हमने हाल ही में देखा कि किस तरह से नए रडार्स बेटर रेजोल्यूशन के सेटेलाइट पिक्चर्स और उनसे इन्फ्लुएंस लेने का जो मेथड है इन सब से वेदर फोरकास्टिंग में एक्यूरेसी काफी बढ़ सकती है इसी पोटेंशियल को ध्यान में रखते हुए 2000 करोड़ रुपीस के एलोकेशन के साथ मिशन मौसम लॉन्च किया जाएगा आज यूनियन कैबिनेट में अप्रूव किया माने प्रधानमंत्री जी ने बहुत फोकस किया जाएगा डेटा मॉडलिंग पे डेटा ड्रिवन टेक्नोलॉजीज पे नेक्स्ट जनरेशन रडार्स पे सैटेलाइट्स पे और इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें आत्मनिर्भर भारत के मिशन के तहत भारत में ही बनेगी भारत में ही डेवलप होगी हाई परफॉर्मेंस कंप्यूटर्स ए आई एम एल और साथ ही साथ दुनिया के जो बड़े रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उनके साथ कलेबोरेशन टारगेट ये रहेगा कि आने वाले पांच छह वर्षो में बहुत ही एक्यूरेट एग्रो एडवाइजरी आ सके और बहुत एक्यूरेट नाओ कास्ट टेक्नोलॉजीज आ सके हम कहते हैं फोर कास्ट उसकी जगह नाओ कास्ट यानी बहुत जल्दी बहुत कम समय में आगे आने वाले मौसम की जानकारी हम दे सके की कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ मिशन मौसम इंक्लूड द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट रेडार्स एंड सैटेलाइट सिस्टम द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ सोफिस्टिकेटेड अर्थ सिस्टम मॉडल्स एंड द स्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ अ रियल टाइम डेटा डिसेमिनेशन प्लेटफॉर्म यूजिंग अ जी आई एस बेस्ड ऑटोमेटेड डिसीजन स्पॉट सिस्टम सो वॉट इज द एम ऑफ मिशन मौसम Mission Mossam aims to enhance India's capacity in weather and climate science research and services. What are the key objectives of Mission Mossam? The focus areas are accuracy in weather forecasting, advanced modeling, improved radar and satellite technology and precision agrometric forecasts. Implementing bodies: IMD, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology and National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. Technology integration incorporation of ai machine learning and cutting edge observational systems what are the expected outcomes the improved forecasts enhanced accuracy in weather advisories and now cast technologies with goals set for next 5 to 6 years enhanced systems upgrades in observational systems including radars and automatic weather stations to improve data quality and forecasting accuracy The mission's focus will include improving observations and understanding for providing highly accurate and timely weather and climate information across temporal and spatial scales including monsoon forecasts alerts for air quality extreme weather events and cyclones weather interventions for managing fog hail and rain 
and capacity building and generating awareness. Critical elements of Mission Mossam will include the deployment of next generation radars and satellite systems with advanced sensors and high performance supercomputers, the development of improved earth system models and a GIS based automated decision support system for real time data dissemination. Three institutes of Ministry of Earth Sciences will primarily implement Mission Mossam. These institutions will be supported by other institutions like Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services, National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, and National Institute of Ocean Technology. Along with collaborating national and international institutes, academia and industries, furthering India's leadership in weather and climate sciences and services. These advancements will benefit various sectors including agriculture, disaster management, defense, transportation by providing more reliable and timely weather information. Mission Mossam will also help to better equip stakeholders including citizens and last mile users in tackling extreme weather events and the impacts of climate change. The ambitious program will help broaden capacity and resilience across communities, sectors and ecosystems in the long run. Recent events such as unprecedented rainfall in Delhi highlighted limitations in forecasting single day rain events. This underscores the need for improved forecasting capabilities. The IMB has reported an 80% accuracy for daily rainfall forecasts over the past five years and a 60% accuracy for five day forecasts. Recent improvements have boosted accuracy to 88% in July due to enhanced data and decision support systems. Mission Mossam will directly benefit numerous sectors such as agriculture, disaster management, defense, environment, aviation, water resources, power, tourism, shipping, transport, energy and health. It would also enhance data-driven decision making in areas such as urban planning, road and rail transport, offshore operations and environmental monitoring. The very sense of urgency to address rising temperature and climate change was visible at G20 Leaders Summit in New Delhi, where the G20 nations committed to urgently accelerating their actions to address environmental crisis and challenges, including climate change. As the G20 is collectively responsible for about 80% of global emissions, the climate change is an issue that requires global action. India has identified a wide array of cutting-edge priorities that are being deliberated by various G20 working groups to help address the key challenges we face and to plan for a better future. This transformative leadership position carries profound implications for global affairs, especially concerning the paramount issue of climate change. India's presidency ushered in a novel era marked by pondering initiatives and visionary strategies aimed at combating climate change and nurturing sustainable development. Recognizing that prosperity and well-being of present and future generation depends on current development and other policy choices and actions, under India's presidency, the G20 resolved to pursue environmentally sustainable and inclusive economic growth and development in an integrated, holistic and balanced manner. The world leaders noted with concern that global ambition and implementation to address climate change remain insufficient to achieve the temperature goal of the Paris Agreement to hold the increase in the global average temperature to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The G20 countries highlighted the importance of ambitious action on all pillars of Paris Agreement, taking into account the best available signs. The G20 Leaders Summit held in New Delhi on September 9th and 10th adopted the New Delhi Leaders Declaration where climate change took a prominent position on the global geopolitical agenda. 
In an era of accelerating change, the imperative to limit climate change and achieve sustainable growth is strengthening the momentum of the global energy transformation. The rapid decline in renewable energy costs, improving energy efficiency, widespread electrification, increasingly smart technologies, continually technological breakthroughs and well-informed policy making all drive this shift, bringing a sustainable energy future within reach. The world's actions today will be crucial to create a sustainable energy system. Ultimately, the path to a secure future depends on pursuing a positive, inclusive, economically, socially and environmentally beneficial energy transformation. India's announcement that it aims to reach net zero emissions by 2070 and to meet 50% of its electricity requirements from renewable energy sources by 2030 is a hugely significant moment for the global fight against climate change. India is pioneering a new model of economic development that could avoid the carbon-intensive approaches that many countries have pursued in the past and provide a blueprint for other developing economies. Well, viewers, that's all we had for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side. Watch more programs of Sunset TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like and share them.